Hi guys, Sean coming today with a unboxing of this rechargeable LED eyeglasses bracket headband interchangeable magnifier. I uh, bought this off Facebook, I'm not going to lie, I saw an ad for it on Facebook. I'm like, huh, this is something I've been looking for. I do have a LED light with a magnifying le uh, lens in it, uh, but nothing that sits on my face that like you know would uh, help me adjust. And actually, that LED light has been one of my uh, lawn favorite tools. The bright light helps me paint better. I'll give you guys a shot of that in a second. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the frame right now. This is one like this. It has been amazing. It helps out so much with details. And so I figured these LED eyeglasses would be just as good. And since I haven't seen any from any sites or anything, or any uh, other... Uh, artist talking about uh, magnifying glasses and LED eyeglasses. This came up on Facebook. Seemed like it was a good deal. Wasn't too bad. I think this was like $34.99. So I didn't pay big bucks for it. Just enough to say, hey, this could be a cool investment. So it's already opened in the sense. Uh, I'm assuming customs it went through. So <laughs> it got a little beat up. Uh, I opened it up just to make sure everything was there and not broken. But beyond that, it's as far as I've gone. So let's take a look at this. All right, guys, so we switched to an overhead camera view, something I don't do often, and I'm trying it out. Um, and like I said, I don't do unboxings. So uh, I'm going to open this guy up first thing. All right, we got our instructions, which I'll definitely need. Uh, movable in spot, ways to observe. Oh, let's go, okay, how to use it. All right, and then we actually have our glasses itself. Oh, here's a band. The charger because it is a LED char or rechargeable. Oh, these look like the lenses. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, lens cleaners. I guess good. You guys know so. And the lenses. Those are actually pretty nice. Come in little individual things. Ooh. Let's see how these work. It's different magnification levels. I think it's up to 3.5. And this next one is 2.5. Back and I'll break it in, and then 2.0, jeez, I have not, and then, then 1.5. I'm assuming the last one is one, huh? We have one, okay, cool. So that's neat. It's a hefty case, too. Actually, it's pretty nice. Again, uh, another thing, too, is again, I bought this from Facebook. Um, yeah, it's like a Target ad, probably someone read my mind. Here's the glasses, but um. They come from China as well, and uh, it took a long time to get here, to be quite honest with you guys. Like, uh, well, there's the, there's the, so just in the light, I guess this is where the head headlamp will stick in. Nose piece and all that. Alright. Well, it's not bad. I got a little grip for the head. I don't know what this um, lens. Rotating, let's see, I'm look, micro USB plug is right there, okay. Um, hmm. Bracket foot, I don't know exactly what that means. I don't think I have that, okay. Huh, yeah, bracket. Uh, external teeth, power switch, all right, so, so it took a long time to get here. I ordered this back in like December 14th and didn't get it to like today. That's so you can adjust the light. The lights are supposed to be able to move back and forth, but I don't want to break anything. All right. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna put this on. I guess you guys are gonna get a shot of my face. Hi guys. So this is this is me for one with the, the glasses on my face, and uh, they fit pretty well. Uh, they're pretty comfortable on the head. The nose bridge thing's a little tight, but they like said it's. Stainless steel, so a little just well. I have, I do have a bigger nose, so okay, that's a little better. Oh, uh, there we go. That's not bad. I say I got a pair of the uh, the one X on just to you know chest it out, and so far actually it's working pretty good. And one thing that I didn't like about my magnifying glass that's uh, a desk lamp. I'm gonna lift that up real quick. <laughs> that's a desk lamp. Is that it would you would have to kind of let your eyes adjust when you're looking at a miniature. You basically would put it there, and then like, uh, and then if you got too close, it your depth perception would go away. So, 
I think these are going to help with the depth perception because you're seeing through both eyes and not just like one concentrated one. It's, it's kind of, I'm not good at physics, all right? But I think it's going to be better. I don't know for sure. Um, but it does. All right, so let's put the put the glasses back down. Oh. Oh, yeah. So you can adjust kind of like that. Actually, that works pretty good. The headlamp is right here. So I know it's going to be bright on you guys, but two settings, soft, hard, and off. Um, I Okay, so I'm going to pick a model of that. Uh-huh. Uh, no. One up's not. Oh, that's not too much more than regular field of view. Yeah, and uh, I'm thinking one up's very strong for miniature view. So I'm looking at a Source Warrior that I primed. Uh, he's pretty close, but like the. I, uh, yeah, again, the further you are, actually, it's not, uh, my eyes are not having to adjust as bad. Yeah, let's see. Uh, take a brush. Just kind of like to simulate me painting. I'd be like, uh, okay. Da, da, da. Oh. oh, yeah, the death perception problem is no longer there. That's pretty cool. And it's hard for you guys to see that. Don't know what I'm showing. I guess this is my unboxing and showing to see how these go. So, I, um, so far, so good. Uh, if it's well on the head. Nose hands are adjustable, so my big big butt nose is comfortable. Um, this was easy to click in. Now let's see if it's easy to click off. Or click off, but let go. Oh, you just pull it out. I really hope you just pull it out, because otherwise I broke it, and that's not... I want to wait for another one. Uh, I, I Greasy hands. My hands got all smudged on it. So let's replace it with a stronger... Let's, you know, let's, let's, let's not wimp out. Let's jump up right to 2.5. These things basically is stick it in. Take glass cleaner, clean off the lens. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's adjust that out. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. That is. Oh, uh, hmm. That's a bit stronger, and I actually have no idea what I'm looking at anymore. I need to... There we go. So... Okay. Oh, oh it's getting pretty close. Let's see. Uh, my death position far away is gone now. Now we're up close. Ooh. Okay. I like that. It's far away, but like... Oh, my fingernails are disgusting. <laughs> um, but it's so much more closer than take a brush oh I'll, I'll say right now do not try to look like you got the coke eye look uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you got the coke bottle glass look going right now he had some technical difficulties um so i use this camera <laughs> or being on it in some ways <laughs> um so i i switched lenses the uh three were giving me a little bit of a headache but so I went to the 2.5, and I gotta say, it's much better. So just looking at this model right here, I'm pick up a brush, and then just being able to really see where that brush stroke is going is nice. And like the closer I get, I guess that's still I don't know, far away, but it just makes that detail pop out that much better. I do. <laughs> Do not look through these all day. You will mess up your eyes. You know, I, I I am lucky I've got away with 2020 vision with my job in the military and my video gaming habits. <laughs> um, I still have 2020. I don't want to mess with them now. So when I'm not using these, I would definitely keep them away from my eyes. And I recommend that to anybody because, again, you're going to wear out your eyes. It's not good. So... Uh, all in all, I'm looking forward to using these. Um, I could do... I don't really have a model that I have a, want to practice detail on right now. But it's something I could definitely comment on later when I'm going through stuff. Like, hey guys, right now I'm using my lenses. I'm using the detail. Uh, like, I, like I, I have artifice... And <laughs> I still have the box. Artificer layer, small brush from GW, I still haven't broken out yet. I think it's a big thing. 
But so far they're good. They uh, they're not they're for thirty five bucks. They're a decent magnifying, especially considering like with that lens, like the light on it's great. I'm just, actually I'm gonna talk to me check out the light on these two real quick. Oh, and on to, takes a little bit of adjusting. Oh, come on. Oh, damn it. Darn it. There we go. So let's see. Oh, okay, that light's not bad. I'm sorry, guys, if I blind you. But it's adjustable, which is actually. Oh, okay, that's good. That's actually really nice. Okay, so went up, went up a few points. I mean, I don't have, I don't have a rating scale or anything yet. I won't. Trust me. I'm not. This is just because is. It's related to painting, and it's something that I haven't seen someone do. Um, so, if you're looking to get a magnifying glass, something a headset is nice. It will be on your eyes. I've already noticed that, like, my eyes are having to refocus for like when I use my um, headlamp. The headlamp, I have to really like let it sit. Okay, okay, now I see where it is. But otherwise, I'll start poking things I sh that will I shouldn't because of my depth perception being off. So these really have helped out that depth perception. Sorry, depth perception is one of the hard words for me to say for some reason. But um, I recommend I recommend these. I mean, they're not bad. Uh, Thirty-five bucks if you can get the same kind of deal via Facebook. I, I've Hip Hawker is I think the company I bought them through. Uh, again, I just saw them on Facebook. It's and again, it's a really cop out way to find something, but you know, I'll give their algorithm. A kudos, like, hey, you saw something I was interested in. Uh, it's something that I, I think I actually will use. Um, again, uh, so the 2.5 is the one I was using before with, you know, when I had technical difficulties. It's pretty strong. Uh, I don't ever see myself using 3. You know what? Let's crack in the 3 just to see how messed up I can get. So I'll take this out. Oh, oh shit. I did not break him. I did not. Don't look at me like that. Alright, so let's get the three. Alright, and I'm just gonna stick that in there and have to clean up clean it off. Oh, there you go. It's all sponged up, so clean it off. Alright. That's it. I grabbed the one. Because I am a genius. That does genius things. These are actually really thick. And now I can see, like, with these thick ones, and maybe someone having, like, a light head or something. I don't know why you would need the headband. So far, these gla the glasses part is just working fine. Adjust. The light. Oh, man. Like, the depth. Again, if you look through it something for a while, your depth perception is totally gone. Like, I have to, like, really reach around. So. Okay. Really good detail. I have to get really close to the model to do that, and that's not that's not something I was looking for with these. Like, I lift this up, and the, oh man, that was adjusting. Like I said, don't look at these. So I, I would not recommend the higher, higher, higher magnification for model paint because actually it gets blurry. You have to be like really close. But look at it. If you're trying to find like mistakes, maybe, but not. Not if you're painting. So I think a good setting right now for painting would be either the 2.0, the 2.0 I think is probably the best. And the 1. Point, the 1.5 is not bad either. Um. So uh, that's really all I have. I mean, it's uh, I don't really want to set up a headband. I don't. I don't need it. Uh, might be more comfortable. I don't know. This isn't too bad on my ear. Like, this isn't. This is the most comfortable thing, but it's not bad. I wouldn't. Say it's uncomfortable. Uh, the glasses came. The, the glass cleaner is very nice. It does its job. The light's very nice. I mean, I do have a background light in here as well, which is actually, I think you can see part of it. I don't have to cut that out. Uh, but so, I would definitely recommend a headlamp with magnification lenses. Um. Thank you all for taking this journey with me. I hope this was enlightening. Dun dun. dun Somehow, I should probably put the light on when I did that. Um, 
if you can find a good deal on good you don't I don't I don't see these being like a high priced item that you should buy. If you had to pay a hundred bucks for this, it better be holding your paintbrushes while you do it or something. Thirty five bucks, this is a good medium price for something like I think as much as the lamp to be honest. That was like probably like a thirty thirty dollar lamp. So the same thing, this is like very detailed work. And it's you don't have to work through the limitations of a lamp and having to move it around. You just work with your head. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was a different video to make for me for sure. Uh, having to learn to do this on the fly a little bit because I just got this today. And I am definitely improving a lot of these more. I haven't written anything out. It's kind of like my GMing style. I stick on the fly. But I hope you guys had a good, uh, good, good job. Hope you guys have a great day. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of this beautiful mug. Eh, five, a heavy, a strong five, a strong five, a strong five. Maybe if I should trim it up a bit. But like and subscribe. Ring the bell if you want to, because I, I mean, I'm going to probably post like at least at least once a week. This is what I'm going to try to get for guys. I'm going to try to post these once a week. Some type of video via it, a unboxing or building, a painting. Or, um, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'm not going to do any battle reports, but we'll, we'll figure it out from there. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you later.